Hello, my people. So good to be here again. And um, I thank God for what God is using this channel to do all around the world. Um, I'm always blown away when I get an email that says I've been watching your videos and they have been helping me. And I'm amazed. And uh, especially when <laughs> I've been focusing a lot more on men and yet some women would uh, reach out to me and say they've been blessed. And I thank God for the opportunity to bless you. And I thank God for the transformations that he's doing in your life. All right. So if you are subscribed to this channel, I want to say thank you for subscribing. Thank you for encouraging me to keep going. And I pray that your life will be impacted and, and you will be a source of transformation and a blessing to others as well. All right, so today I'm going to continue the discussion on forgiveness. And what I want to talk about today more is to emphasize the importance of forgiveness, why you should forgive, why you should forgive those who have hurt you, um, not just your spouse, but every person that has hurt, hurt you. Because some of the problems that you are facing in your marriage with your spouse is as a result of some of the people that you have not forgiven in your past who are not your husband or your wife. So let's get that settled. How to do that? That's what I'm, I'm, I do. That's what I do. And I'm happy to help you. If you want to connect with me, get to um, get my help. All you have to do is send me an email. Get on my email list. Download my Friendship Rebuilding Cheat Sheet. And when you download my Friendship Rebuilding Cheat Sheet, you will get my email. And from my email, you'll be able to um, reach out to me and ask me for, for more help. Well, welcome once again. Welcome once again. Today, we're going to talk about the importance of forgiveness. Why should you forgive? Apart from the scripture, which is supposed that's the best reason why you should forgive God, wants you to forgive I, I i shared some points with you in the last couple of videos if you've not been watching us uh this week i've been really focusing on the power of love and how it impacts our ability to forgive and one of the things that i shared in the first one of the first videos is that when you don't forgive it's proof that you don't trust god of course you're not i'm not trying to blame you there i'm trying to say to you that Many times we don't understand what forgiveness means, and and so we we hold we withhold forgiveness because we don't know what that implies, and and one of the implications of not forgiving is saying I don't trust God to do a good job of bringing justice, and 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 once that can sink deep into your heart, you are going to find it way more way easier to forgive way easier because you're going to just say okay this person has hurt me i hand them over to the lord to deal with them the way he deals with me and when you with the moment you're in that space you realize that the merciful god who has been merciful on you knows exactly how to deal with those who have hurt you because every time we sin against our brothers and sisters we're also sinning against god we're breaking god's laws so it's not just about the one who hurt you but about the god who is the righteous and just judge now uh, today's discussion is not about forgiving your spouse alone today's discussion is about forgiving everyone who has hurt you because some of the problems that you are facing in your marriage right now is because you haven't forgiven some people in your life and some of the problems that your spouse is having with you is because they have not forgiven some people in their lives of course you cannot control your husband or your wife you cannot control your children even you can only control what you do so we're not going to uh, try to guilt our wives into forgiving us for the things we've done or forgiving others we're going to pray that um, our lives would inspire them to do the right thing so important for i surely i say to you i'm very confident in what i'm saying to you this thing that you're about to hear me say is so important you need to pay careful 
attention to it. If you say, if you say, anyone says to so this mountain, be removed and cast into the sea, and does not doubt in his heart, but believe that those things that he says will be done, he will have whatever he says. And a lot of people have taken this and assumed that you can just say whatever. You just say anything. I command this mountain to start dancing. I command the trees to jump up and down and and uh, spin around. No, no, that's not what Jesus was saying here. Many times when we speak, we don't. We, you can just take out the little part, and it will make complete sense. The, the, if you want to take things out of context, you're gonna go wrong. Here, the Lord Jesus was in a discourse, so he's, he's continuing. So he says, "Therefore I say to you. Therefore I say to you, as a result of what I've said previously, remember that I'm, what I'm saying to you is whatever things you ask when you pray, believe that you receive them." And you will have them. So it's a con it's in the context of prayer. It's also in the context of having faith in God. So when you are having faith in God and you're praying, it means that the things whatsoever you say, it must be in line with who God is, what God does, and what God wants. You would think that that would be the end, but that's not the end. There's more in verse 25. And it says, And whenever you stand praying... If you have anything against anyone, forgive him, that your Father in heaven may also forgive your trespasses. But if you do not forgive, neither will your Father in heaven forgive your trespasses. Here is the final part of that paragraph or that discourse. So you will notice that Jesus started, our Lord Jesus said, if you say anything, you command this mountain or whatever you you speak and you say you let it happen it will happen but then he gave the conditions to that there's a there are two conditions attached to that statement there are two conditions and i want to i want you to take a look and take note of those conditions number one believe and don't doubt in your heart believe believe that god is able to do what he says believe that god is uh will back will would stand behind his words his words his character believe that don't doubt that and the second thing is forgive if you have anything against anyone and unforgiveness blocks prayers from being answered so that's the, the main reason why you should forgive to start to start with but it's not enough it's not a, a law that's not all our lord always gives us commandments that bless us and so when god says don't do something or do something it's because he wants to bless us he is love and everything he does is to bring us to the best place that we could be in the general picture of things all right so we understand now that we need to forgive so that we get number one forgiveness and we get answers to our prayers and and the reason why you cannot get forgiveness when you don't forgive others is because you are saying i don't trust god i am a better judge than him and if you're a better judge than him then you are already in problems because who's going to forgive you if you dismiss the one who is supposed to pardon you and you sit in his place, you cannot get forgiveness. So this is why you must get off the seat of the judge and let the judge do his, his, his work. And the first thing you want him to do is to forgive you. And that's why you must start by releasing the other person and trusting that the God, who is a just God, will do the right thing. Very important. And I pray that that sinks deep into your heart and you use it every day and you will not hold anyone in your heart. Thank you for joining us again. If you are not subscribed to this channel, then by all means do so. I'll be happy to have you in the family. If you have not downloaded my free friendship rebuilding cheat sheet, then jump in and do so as well. The Friendship Re Rebuilding Cheat Sheet is just a one-page document that reminds you on how to rebuild friendship with your spouse. And there's a video that comes with it, a free video that comes with it. If you watch that video, the cheat sheet is gonna help you to remember what you've learned in the video. 
and um, you also have my email and I can and you can communicate with me and you can download that from adisobanja.com slash friends the friendship building cheat sheet and uh, if you want to do more learn more adisobanja.com slash masterclass adisobanja.com slash masterclass I want to bless as many people as I can. My vision, my prayer is to help as many men and women, of course, through their husbands or directly to love like Jesus, bring love to the places they go to and spread the love of God everywhere around the world. That's my prayer. That's my desire. And I, I know that God is doing it one person at a time. So I celebrate you if you're subscribed to this channel and I challenge you to keep loving like Jesus, making mega impact. See you tomorrow.